The existence of extraterrestrial life has been one of the paramount questions of science. For many years, astronomers have speculated that the most likely way to find evidence of extraterrestrial life is through biosignatures, which are basically substances that provide evidence of life. Probably the most famous example of this would be oxygen, as it rapidly oxidizes in just a few thousand years, so to have large quantities of oxygen in an atmosphere, you need something to constantly be putting it there, in Earth's case, it's from trees. Another one that's been suggested as a great biosignature is phosphine. It is a gas we can only make on Earth in the lab, or by decomposing organic matter, typically in a water-rich environment. Venus is Earth's closest planetary neighbor. Similar in structure but slightly smaller than Earth, it is the second planet from the Sun. Earth is third. Venus is wrapped in a thick toxic atmosphere that traps in heat. Surface temperatures reach a scorching 880 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. Its atmosphere is hellish, consisting mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. Besides that, Venus has large number of volcanoes, some of which may still be active. These conditions do not make Venus favorable for life, and it is probably one of the last places where scientists would expect life to exist. However, in a surprising discovery, researchers have detected in the harshly acidic clouds of Venus a gas called phosphine that indicates alien life on Venus. If the discovery is confirmed by future space missions, this could be the first sign of potential life beyond Earth. It would be our first step in learning how common life is in the universe. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. What did the researchers actually found? The researchers did not discover any actual life forms, but noted that on Earth phosphine is produced by microbes. The team first spotted the phosphine on Venus using the telescopes in Hawaii. Phosphine is a stinky gas which is considered as a sign of microscopic life on rocky planets like Venus. The researchers tried to rule out the possibility of extraterrestrial life by analyzing other sources that could possibly produce phosphine on Venus, such as meteorites, volcanoes, and lightning. However, it was concluded that you should only get this concentration of phosphine if there is life out there. But how can life exist on Venus? We thought it was a hellhole. The surface of Venus is indeed not a nice place to live. It has a runaway greenhouse effect, which means the surface is hot enough to melt lead, it rains sulfuric acid, and the Russian probes that landed there didn't even lasted more than a few hours. However, if you go about 50 kilometers up in the Venusian atmosphere, it is the most Earth-like environment in our entire solar system. Phosphine was detected in that region of Venus's atmosphere, where conditions are possibly habitable and very much Earth-like. Currently, there are no known mechanisms by means of which phosphine could be produced naturally on Venus in detectable amounts except for microbes. If it's not life, then it might be some sort of physical or chemical process that we are not aware of. If this is true, then our understanding of rocky planets is severely lacking, which possibly might not be the case, as Earth the planet we live on, and Mars, the planet with dozens of spacecrafts and rovers, are both rocky planets and have been extensively studied. Astronomers believe that Venus once had water oceans on its surface for 2 to 3 billion years after its formation, and it may even have supported life during this period. Studies suggest Venus lost all of its water due to a runaway greenhouse effect, which caused the planet's atmosphere to become incredibly dense and hot. Probably, the ancient Venusian life was never lost and evolved into aerial microbes that might still be thriving in the Venusian atmosphere. In earlier days of the solar system, Earth was not so hospitable to humans. There was still life here, and much as Earth over time became a home for jellyfish, dinosaurs and homo sapiens, Venus was transformed by something into a hell. Today, the second planet from the Sun has an atmosphere choked by carbon dioxide gas and surface temperatures that average more than 800 degrees Fahrenheit. It is hardly a place that makes visiting easy, although that doesn't mean people haven't tried. Space programs have tried dozens of robotic missions to Venus, many of them in the Soviet Union's Venera series. But the planet eats metal within minutes, melting down and crushing spacecrafts that have landed there. 
Of all those attempts, only two managed to directly capture images of the planet's surface. The researchers are not actually claiming that they have found life on Venus, they are saying that the idea needs to be further explored.